Welcome to the audiobook player app for Windows Phone. My name is Chris Spettmann and I want to make a short tour with you through the app. We are here on the start screen of the phone with a fresh installation of the app. Now I start the app and get the same video screen like you. I can skip it now. That's the player page, but first of all we have to go through the library and add our audiobooks. We have here the library settings. I click on it and now we have some options. We can add a location, remove a location and create a standard default audiobook folder. First I add a new location and we can choose here from these locations. The player only supports locations under music and under SD card. Now we add the SD card and say here accept. We can here we can see in the library we have three audiobooks. The three audiobooks are in the SD card. The create audiobook folder button will create an audiobook folder under music on your phone and then you can put your files over USB to this folder. If I click here then you get a message what you can do and if I click close we see here it puts a reference. Now we Collapse this and start a new audiobook. We just click on it in the list and here we can see the player and the audiobook starts. We can see in this line the title of the audiobook, the name. I pause this. In the second line you can see the author and then in the third line you can see the selected file, the chapter, which is playing. Under that you have a slider for the position of your audiobook. You can change it. Just tap on the position. And you can see the audiobook plays there. Or you can click here. If you have a time would you what you want to enter, you can click the clock button and set the time directly. We can go to hour six and twenty minutes. Zero. And then the audiobook starts on this time. The second button is here, the alarm button, which starts the sleep timer. You can set here a time, for example 10 minutes, and you see here the sleep timer. After that 10 minutes, the phone stops, automatically the playing and save the last position. Now we disable the sleep timer and go to the next controls. It's here the app bar, in the bottom of the app. We open it and check the options. The first we saw and the second is we can adjust the playback speed. We can make the playback slower or faster or back on normal speed. On the next here we can go forward or rewind 30 seconds. Then we have the, this option, pin to start. We can pin this audiobook on our start screen from the phone and can start it from there. The next option continue from start screen. We, I click on it. Also creates a tile on the start screen. 
I take this here and put it here. And the difference between this option continue and the option before is that we can continue here every audiobook. The last audiobook we hear is that what starts. And we click on it. And we can see our last audiobook starts again. That's it, hot zone. We go to the app bar. This was our last option. And the next, uh, next option here is audiobook info. I click on that. Here we can edit the name, the author, or the year of the audiobook. You can set the uh, audiobook information here. That's new in this version. We cancel this here. And the next option is the share button. You can share your audiobook name and author with a short message to every app on your phone. For example, Twitter, Facebook, or mail. And then the last entries here are the review and rating. You can review this app on store or show the video screen again on video instructions and can visit the site for the Windows Store app. Now we go to the library and we can see here there is an audiobook without informations, but the app needs these informations to save the last position. That's not that's no problem at this time now. We can click here and the app gives this dialogue. We can enter here this name. and the name of the author. Maybe. Okay. The cover is already there. And we click here, change. We see the change process. And the audiobook starts running with this new information. Pause again. And now we go to the chapter. We can here see the chapters of this audiobook. Now the first chapter is selected because we start the audiobook and we can choose another. We can go to chapter 4 or to chapter 10, no problem. Next, we go to the settings. We have here the settings. And this is a new setting. We can choose here between full duration or chapter duration. That means that we can display here 8 hours is the full time or we can display the chapter time which is maybe 20 minutes. The next option here is we can set wallpapers. We can choose a photo. And now we have a wallpaper, a background picture for this app. And uh, if we turn the phone, no problem. We can also change the theme here. We can see the, the white fonts are not good for this wallpaper. Then we can change the theme, but it requires the app restart. I change it to light and the app closes and start the app again. We see here the text is black.
Another new option is here, we can set the language of the app. That's here. Choose an item. Default is the language with a setup on the phone. But if we want another language, we can choose from this list. If you want uh, your app in German, we choose it, app restart required, and now the app is in German. And now the app is again in English. The last page here is the About page. And that's our last step here. You have uh, two options here, what can you do? You can send me a mail if you want me to inform a bug or have any wishes. Or you can visit the Twitter page to view the latest news. It's no Twitter logon required. Thank you for watching me and I hope you have very much fun with this app.